Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. And I'm pretty tempted to just go warrior again, because that last one went so poorly. But on the other hand, I think warrior's more likely to go poorly. So I played both of these recently, I played warlock slightly less recently. The shadow. Start off with a legendary, which is sort of exciting, except terrible, mediocre at best. Like, this is this would be terrible in ranked play. In the arena, it's like, eh, it's a big late game thing. It can do big late game things, but really it's pretty poor. So we're going to take Illidan. He's not the best, but I don't know, maybe I'll get demon benefits. Sea Devil Stinger is really weird. Like, 4-2 for 4, four. we already know I don't like those stats. And you're no, like, cult leader. You're a murloc. If you have murlocs, you can do stuff, but even then it's just like, it lets you play a murloc for health instead of mana. This is a murloc that you have in your hand at the time when you have enough to play a 4-cost murloc. And when you're playing, it's probably going to be not that much. It's going to be 1 or 2, and you play 1 or 2 health instead of 1 or 2 mana. That is nice, but, like, really? It, it works so so weird. I'm not a big fan of that. Small-time Buccaneer can be good if you're a weapon class. If you're a rogue, it's pretty friggin' effective. But we're going to take the egg out of these. For some Hellfire action. Terrible... Not really my preference. I'd rather have something that doesn't, like, screw me so much. Chemist is just a good card advantage, so it's hard to argue with. Trash. I don't like you. You draw me in another card. It's fine. Um, Coil does technically help you finish things, and you can get a card out of it. But, ah. Harpy does actually do a lot of damage as a late-game thing. It just doesn't fight as well, but it does a lot of damage. I think we're going to take the Spellbreaker, though. Silencing is pretty valuable. Uh, Malchazar's Imp, super strong and constructed. I really don't think I'm going to be favoring discard cards that much. I think that's a poor way to go. Unless you get an amazing arena draw for that specific purpose, I don't think it's going to work out that well. Squire is fine for, especially for well, he's up. I really take Shadow Bolt because it kills things. Uh, card is big. I mean, he's not great for the cost, but I'd rather have a 6-8 demon for 7 than a 7-7 seven, seven nothing, by far. Again, 6 attack will kill pretty much the same spectrum of things as 7 attack. There's very different, very little difference in what this guy kills. There's very little difference in how much damage he's doing to your opponent. But the extra hit point makes it more likely that it takes more effort to kill him. Like, it's just, it's more likely to work out advantageously than the extra one attack and having one less hit point. And he's a demon. But I think we're going to take the Heckler, because he's pretty solid. I'm going to need some big expensive late game things, but but like, uh, now we've got all weird middle game stuff. So yeah. Again, that 4-6 guy that gets rid of stuff is trash. Um, a big old taunt. Boy, do you seem inferior to the evil Heckler. Paying two extra mana for plus one, plus one is ugh. But that doesn't mean that you're the worst pick. The ooze is kind of aggressive. If they have a weapon, that's good. The harvest golem is giving you more stats slightly. It's kind of spread out in a poor way. He's also a mech. Let's 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 go with him, just in case I get stuff that cares about mechs. Uh, wow. The Hanzo Meccano is really strong if you can have two or three things alive. I think that I'm I'm more inclined to go with the Sea Giants. The Wind Up Burglebot is weird. Again, I would have it's another way to have more mechs in case I run into stuff that would benefit that. But, as we've got, the new expansions haven't added a lot of stuff that boosts mechs. They've added new mechs, but not a lot of stuff that boosts them, if anything. So, going for mechs doesn't seem as great in the arena to me. This guy is like, if he can kill something and not die, then he draws you a card. And that's pretty strong, but he's only a 5-5. Five five, so I don't really think he's going to want. I think the Sea Giant is going to help me more. Ah, oh, why can't you be an Abyssal? The Abyssal is so much better. But we're going to take him anyway. Because those other guys weren't blowing me away. You are unlikely to survive to be useful. You are unlikely to survive to be useful. So, Dr. Ooze, by default. Could go more Ooze. Just hate weapons all the time. Arcano Smith does give you a fair amount of stats. Work out great. It's another four. I don't have that many inexpensive things. I think I'm gonna go with the attributes for casting costs. 
Oh, this is terrible. I already have an, uh, an egg. I don't want, like, another damn egg. Explosive sheep. I don't have a good way to trigger it, so it's probably just suicidal. I think I'm stuck taking the war goal. Ah, uh, more ooze. So again, explosive sheep is a bad idea if you don't have, like, a way to... If I was a mage or something, I'd be amazing. But no. Um, bad. Bad if you don't have healing. Like, if you're priest is pretty good, but I guess we're going to take the Jouster, who is much better than I give him credit for, even though half the time he's kind of crap. Um, okay, we are going to take the Doom Guard this time. Corsair is amazing, but I'm not going to have weapons, so he's not going to be amazing, and he's going to be a, the same as the Corsair for me. I think things are good. Hellfire, I'd like to have. I wish this guy was a friggin' Abyssal Infernal, so he would built in Hellfire for one more mana instead of his crappy one damage Hellfire. Cult Master can draw you a lot of cards, but I don't trust it to work for me. I don't have a lot of stuff to, like, inexpensive guys deal with it. Do the Librarian. It was good if you're doing a discard tech, and she can work out pretty well anyway. She helps you draw more stuff. Like, if you just empty your hand and then play her, she's just going to draw you a card when she dies. She's very good. You're still weird and dumb, but we're going to take the Fellfire Bone because it's more important to go, even though that's hurting me too. Uh, Shadow Flame. We're just going to have all the board wipes. You know what? As much as I hate you, not only are these two guys not benefiting me, because he's crap, and he's not going to, he's crap with if they don't have weapons, but I have so much stuff that hurts myself. I have additional things that hurt myself, in addition to being a warlock. I think this is actually beneficial for me overall. There's my Abyssal. Um, you guys are okay, too, but Abyssals, I want more Abyssals. Just give me, like, five Abyssals. I'll, I'll live with it. Probably die with it, but live with it. I don't have that much cheap stuff. My God, I have hardly anything that costs less than three. Most of my deck is four plus, which is terrible for Warlock, so I'm going to have to go for this. I actually need more cheap guys. Ah, you guys are strong! And I don't have any Murlocs, and... Hardly any beasts, if any, and no dragons. Wow. You, these guys are so strong. Take the, I'm going to take the raider. I need more cheap stuff, though, it turns out. You are not what I need for cheap stuff. Or are you? What, what's my battle cry situation at? Uh, there's one. Two. Okay, I have a lot of battle cry stuff in the four cost range, which means he will probably totally screw me. No, I have a lot of battle cries. Oh, God, but I need things that I can actually... Can't. The thing is, he doesn't fight well, either. Like, yes, he's tough, but I'm not going to have a way to boost him. My God, I am going to be so screwed, because you're useless on your own without other Murlocs. This dumb. No, I'm just not going to have, like, any... I'm going to get killed early on before I can do anything. I need... As much as I need cheap things, I might need to take him over her, because how much is she going to do for me relative to his four hip, four healing? I'm still going to get crushed. <laughs> I think I'm boned. Thank you. Why not? Do I take the Dirty Rat? I already have a lot of board wipe. Normally, Twisting Nether would be pretty considerable. But I've got an Abyssal, a Fellfire Potion, a Shadow Flame, and a Hellfire. I might need him just for, like, the Tauntness. He could do the same sort of Tauntness, but he's giving my opponent a random minion from their hand into play. Just so suicidal, but looking at my deck, I'm like, I probably ought to take the risk, because I'm going to need the help. This is so dumb. I can't believe how little, like, early game stuff I got. Okay, now I got... No, I am, I am going to get crushed, I think. I don't know, I have all these, like, power... Like, the board wipe stuff is great, even though it's going to be hurting me. a lot of strength in the 4 and 5 class area I feel like is overall good for this set, but I don't think that this deck is doing it right. It's not like having a bunch of like early game stuff that buffs it, like with like a Paladin, and then doing it. But, uh... I, I, 
don't, I don't know. I don't see this working out super fabulously. I like a lot of the cards I chose, and I don't think my decisions were bad as I went along, but it just got got into the area where the stuff I needed wasn't the stuff it was giving me later on. Oh my god. I need to keep that over the Shadow Bolt, actually, because I'm going to try and get something cheap. I'm going to need the Hellfire to clear out all the stuff that's going to build up while I'm busy not doing anything. Oh my god, no. Oh, oh. Greetings. And he got to talk. What the hell? I've got the coin, so yay, but this is terrible. I, I need all my opponents to just have a very slow start. If they have a very slow start, I can maybe come back. That's good. Slow start away. Aha, you won't be able to do that anymore because now it would help me. Well, where were you all my life? I'd be much happier if I had coined him out first turn, and then second turn and heal. Mona is having a very slow start. So, hooray! <laughs> um, I could coin out something as a four cost, but it's actually not worth it right now, because my only four drop is him, and he's better off later, so let's play a guy. He's too big for Madness Potion, and also, if you don't have anything you get killed against, it would be dumb. You're probably going to start playing serious stuff. Egg. Buff egg. Okay. There's a big egg. So, play him. What are the chances he's getting killed? I think he's got a reasonable chance. I think I'm going to go for it. Point him out. So many sixes and sevens. We'll, we'll give him a chance. I probably should have just played this guy instead. It'd be safer, but... So what do you got? You can't use some of some of your cleric spells to kill him right now. Although if I grow him and then you just shadow retain him, then I haven't gained a whole lot. Do you have enough yeah. of buff for your egg? Is your deck just like all egg buffs? Okay, you do that. It's fine. If I Hellfire... Oh, I won't even kill that now. Damn it. I'll draw a card and I won't be able to do anything much else. I liked Hellfiring, except now it's not going to... Damn it! Oh, I've done this all wrong. Well, let's see, what I, so see if I draw something. Did that bubble video. literally block my... I think that bubble came up and blocked my click somehow. All right, we're we're gonna blow you up. That 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 draw, I'm pretty happy with. Kill that. Now I've got a six four unopposed out there. Yeah, you got the extra card, but I'm much happier with this. He's probably gonna get Shadow or Pain, but I've got lots of stuff to keep playing from now on. God damn it, that sucks. That sucks so incredibly hard. You all my life. Ah. Uh, Huffing him. Put a Velens on him. He's still gonna die just to kill my guy. I must consider. Fun fact: next turn I'll have enough. I, I would actually be able to play him, and then Shadow Flame if I wanted to. But I probably wouldn't because if I was gonna do that, I might lose the Pickle of him, right? Uh, potions are bad. I don't like you getting potions. I like me getting potions. Now you gotta trade. Okay. I have so much AoE, it's not like I'm wasting the AoE. You would actually get that plus one plus one. Hooray! 
The light does not discriminate. Gadgets and gazettes yeah, always get the scoop. Kill that, be good. Okay. Failfire Potion would kill them and not kill my guy, although he'd be super fragile and it would take most of my mana. And that's still hurting me. <sighs> Killing both of them would be good, though, because this isn't doing it. And I don't want to kill the reporter so with this and then not do anything else. I think I'm probably going to go ahead and Failfire Potion. Just like go psycho go nuts on this guy. I really probably should have played him instead of that. If the priest has a one damage AoE, probably has a two damage AoE. It's probably Holy Nova or bigger. We are both very low in health. Hey, look, it's Holy Nova. I'm now lower in health. I may have to slow it down and play this idiot. Oh. Yeah, I may not be slowing it down as much as I think. Okay, let's see what I get out of this first. Drink the power. Right size potion. That might be useful later. Uh, let's let's play this guy right now. While my opponent doesn't have anything else that benefits specifically from healing, and of course. Okay. My shield for Argus. Okay, that's fairly large. That's so big. Pint size potion isn't even helping that much. Oh, you killed that too. Okay, that is actually getting kind of nice. Hmm. I have to play this guy and shadow flame him. Just sort of wipe the board, start over. Now, do I want to play this egg first for that, or do I want so that egg to even the void terror? I think the void terror. Let's draw a card first. I don't see how it's going to change my play, because the 3 damage Hellfire isn't going to do enough, because it's not going to kill that. I'd be short 1 damage even with him. Do the stupid plus 1, plus 1. Otherwise, it would be awesome. So, let's let's draw the card first and see what we get. Um, interesting. Because I could play him and blow him up and then not have to trade my guy, so I'd be doing a little bit of damage now, but is that better than... He's not going to be very playable later. God damn, that's a tough choice I don't have time for. I think I'm going to save him because he's a big card. We're just going to do it. Total corruption! Total power! Go! He, he levitated up, too, because I clearly triggered the attack. So. Okay, I have way more cards than my opponent. I don't know about the quality. And you're at full health. Awesome. Oh, you got nothing else to do with your turn? You're just wasting your uh, everyone's goddamn time? That's fine. You do that. I've got stuff. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I'm a time waster there. Ah, boo. So I wonder if he has a frost giant. He's very diligent about using his heal every turn, even when there's no point. Um. I'm, I'm not pressured by Anoitron at all. I have no particular reason to go do anything remotely so aggressive. Many possibilities. If I play these two, that's four that would leave me with six mana and he would cost six. So let's let's do that. No, I taste blood. Oh my opponent doesn't have like a light bomb. Light bomb would be extra annoying because it doesn't even kill the egg. A shadow or pain. Good for you. Congratulations. Okay. Even though you're at full health, I'm feeling pretty okay about the attrition game right this second. I want to 
to do this with that thing, but I really, I gotta get his skill. Yeah, it's pretty easy to do that. That might not actually not screw me at this point, because he's had lots of mana all the time to cast his stuff. If he has any minions left in his hand, I'm not really using them. Boom! However, you need to do a lot more than that to get yourself into an okay situation. And you're not. Okay. I'm just gonna eat the egg. Okay. I'm not gonna go nuts. Should have just eaten him to punish him for failing his joust, but I've got a lot of forces and you don't. What are you up to? My forces survive a light bomb much better now. Dragon fire potion? Likewise, they do pretty well. You're just healing yourself pointlessly some more. I say pointless because I'm going to kick your ass. Um. I've got cards for days. I'm going to play him next turn. Prepare I'd rather save the taunt just in case. So I'm going to play you instead. Giant army of death. I wish I had that, like, quest for doing 100 damage to players, because I would have done a crap ton of damage to this guy. You have a way to blow that? Give me a quest. So we play him first. Two. We. What a lovely pile of crap you have. Uh, I would actually lose everything if I held hard right now, so it wouldn't be the greatest. Okay, hold on. Ten. Oh yeah, I wish we got overkill. Go for it. Why did you wait that long to quit, and then not let me just like hit you and then kill all your guys with the hellfire? Or Whatever. So that went pretty well because my game is tilted toward the mid to late game, and I'm a warlock. So when I'm drawing extra cards and all my extra cards are worth four or more, it can work pretty well. But also that guy's deck, he had the slowest start in history, and. I suspect his deck wasn't that good because he spent a lot of time just healing himself and not accomplishing anything. So I don't know if that actually bodes particularly well for what's going to happen next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.